Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final Pawsey Capital Refresh podcast for 2022. Uh, we've taken a bit of a break this year from our podcast, but that's mainly because we've been busy doing some pretty great things at the centre. In this episode, you'll hear from Mark Stickles and Stacey Tyson, regular guests on the show, who are going to talk about the major milestones that we've had uh, for Pawsey in 2022 and what we're going to be expecting to see in 2023. Hello, Mark and Stacey. Hello, Hello Dati. Hello. So before we begin, I just want to acknowledge the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation, um, and I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Um, Ozi resides on their land. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge the elders past, present and emerging of the lands across Australia, which uh, you are on today listening to this podcast. So I'll start by recapping 2022. As I said before, we've had a pretty big year. Acacia and Banksha, our 130 petabyte multi-tier storage system, went into production earlier this year. In mid-year, our researchers began their migration to Cetonix. We held our first PACER conference this year in our newly refurbished exhibition space. We're also quite proud that Cetonix was ranked in November as the fourth greenest supercomputer in the world and the 15th most powerful. We farewelled Magnus, our flagship supercomputer, in November, whose space has paved the way for Cetonix Phase 2. Speaking of Cetonix Phase 2, it arrived at Pawsey in early December and is currently being commissioned. Finally, Pawsey's NCMAS and partner allocations have been announced for 2023, which will see over 90 projects accessing Cetonix CPU and GPU. So as you've just heard, it's been a big year for Pawsey uh, in 2022. Stacey, I have a two-part question for you. It's been a massive year. Is there anything in this summary that I've missed? And also, as our project manager, you've been instrumental in the delivery of this huge project. How do you feel? Well, I'll start with question one. So there has been a few other bits and pieces we've been kept busy with this year. We've still been finishing off our building works. We couldn't quite finish that until Magnus had been decommissioned and removed from the building. So in the last couple of weeks, we've finished off the modifications to the power and cooling, which will support Cetonix going forwards. Also, whilst all this hardware work has been going on, we've completely rewritten our support documentation and developed and delivered six new training packages to support our researchers migrating to and using Cetonix. So that's kept us fairly busy as well. For the second part of your question about how do I feel? Well, I feel proud of everyone at Pawsey who've worked so hard to make this happen. Every single person working at Pawsey has contributed in some way to the capital refresh this year. And then there's been a number of contributors from outside Pawsey as well. I feel really thankful for the local HPE team for working with us so well to deploy Cetonix. I'm excited for the future science that will be performed on Cetonix. And to be honest, I'm really tired after such a big year. I can definitely imagine we've been um, buzzing, buzzing this year. Um, Mark, Stacey mentioned that we often reflect on the people behind the scenes that make these milestones achievable. And you've often observed that it's the people who are at the core of Pawsey. Um, this is a bit more of a statement than anything, but, but what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, look, I'm, well, firstly, I'm also tired. I think we're, as you know, sh sharing Stacey's sentiment, it's been quite the year. Um, and it really has been a, you know, fantastic, um, a fantastic effort by, um, by many, many people. Um, a couple of things I want to say, I, if I'd have, you know, rewind three years, I, I wouldn't have just you know, called this a capital refresh. It's a, it's a, it's a technology and innovation and people sort of program there's a, there's many aspects to this and uh, um, we probably estimate the projects touched about 100 people have, have from different organizations not just at Pawsey um, but obviously our partners in HPE um, but other vendors and 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 you know managers who've um, are partners who've worked with us so it really has been a, a very expansive um, well supported project over a number of years and that's through to things to do with governance and and um, procurement and finance and the engineering works as well as those that have got their hands on you know this world-class technology um, upgrade that we're working through add to all of that um, so the people are amazing um, we've continued to deliver through the course of the year our normal program of work so we continue magnus magnus was 
churning and powering through science through almost all of this year, um, we continue to support radio astronomy at a, at a world-class level. Um, we've pioneered in quantum, we've supported, supported projects in, in supporting space data, um, and some really innovative novel work using um, other infrastructure at Pawsey, um, pioneering in AI and machine learning applications in science. So I think Satonics and you know we're absolutely at a high point now, but there's many, many other things that I'm you know, super proud of. And I think, you know, we might have just acknowledged we're still not through COVID. And I think that, you know, the teams work through this over over multiple years. So it's just, um, you know, it's just an amazing effort. So yeah, thank you to everyone. Nice. Um, and so that that sounds huge as well, right? Like we've we've commissioned three major systems. We've done a lot of the building works and the support around that. Uh, we've had people central to this, um, to these various projects and this one larger project as well. And we've continued business as usual. So a lot has happened this year. What are both of your highlights? I spent a bit of time thinking about this, and I'm sorry, I don't have one highlight. I have multiple highlights. Um, for me, the day we started migrating our researchers to Satonics Phase 1 was a, was a major milestone. Um, getting our researchers on this new technology um, was really important. Um, as was, at the other end of the scale, the decommissioning of Magnus, because we needed to do that to be able to roll out phase two of Cetonics. Um, we also had a visit from the science minister and his enthusiasm for what we do at Pawsey is really contagious and I really enjoyed that visit. Um, and my last one only happened in the last couple of weeks and that was the arrival of the Cetonics phase two cabinets at Pawsey, getting them into position, getting them connected up to power and cooling and starting the cabling process all really fantastic milestones at the end of December. Um, we have laid over four kilometres of cable in the last two weeks. So um, just to give a little bit of an idea about the magnitude of what we've been up to. Nice, nice. That's a, it's a really positive way to wrap up the year, right? Seeing a big system coming into the centre, something that we've been talking about for a couple of years now um, and really getting ready for 2023. Absolutely. Mark, how, Mark, how about you? Well, I Look, what is it, Sophie's choice, trying to choose your you know, your favourite child? Um, there's many, many highlights. I'm not sure I can go four like Stacey did, and cabling's not one of my highlights of the year, but I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. I, I found that that the actual the, the video, just one other thing before I talk about a highlight, I, is the, um, the removal of Magnus. It was actually, I was overseas when it happened, came back to see the space vacated, and seeing that time lapse of, of our colleagues removing the... Uh, the, the system at its end of life and knowing it's going back to HPE and it'll be it'll live on in in other in other system support you know in their in their programs but that was kind of a, a moment I think this year to see that so I, I, I you know to see it um, happen that was quite um, quite a special uh, moment but there's been something else that's happened I think at Pawsey this year that I'm really excited about and that's some of the re uh, refurbishment and reactivation of our space so as we've worked through COVID we've um, we've organised our you know, workspace and work environments a little differently and uh, relaunched that refurbished space around the, the, the PACER conference, PCON, and then to see how well our, our, our colleagues are working and engaging with you know, visitors and others, um, I think that's, really, that's been a real highlight. So it's a tremendous foundation for us, I think, going into, uh, into 2023 that we, we've not just got this world-class technical infrastructure but I'm I'm pretty confident that we'll we'll find um, that we're a we're a great place to to work and engage and to um, I think to innovate. You know, it's often bringing people together and the intersection of ideas and 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 the way people interact that some really cool things can happen. And we've we've helped provide that platform as well as the amazing compute and data infrastructure. Very nice. So you know we've we've got a brand new set of systems. We've got a brand new engagement space. We, we can use the two to share knowledge, learn more and bring people together. So that set us up quite well for 2023. So Stacey, from your perspective, what do we have in store? Well, strangely enough, we still have plenty to keep us busy. So we still need to complete the deployment of Satonics phase two. So early in January, we'll be integrating phase two and phase one. Um, which will um, allow our researchers to have access to the full capabilities of Cetonics during February. 
Um, we'll be launching some more documentation and training early in 2023 to support our researchers using the GPU capabilities of Satonix. And we'll of course keep working with our researchers uh, to help them optimize their codes. Uh, we're actually expanding Acacia. Um, so we are um, procuring some more storage for Acacia early in 2023. And we're gonna start decommissioning some of our older equipment from the white space. So Magnus has already been decommissioned, but there are several other systems that will be decommissioned next year. Um, we've purchased an additional GPU blade. Um, we're gonna set that up in our um, test and development system as a training sandbox for researchers um, so that they will have access to that with, um, to learn new skills without necessarily being on the um, on Cetonix. And we're finishing up the project. Um, we've commissioned an impact report um, to quantify the impact that the capital refresh has had and will have on research in Australia going forwards. Excellent. So we have planned another big year for us then. Oh, look, can I follow on from um, Stacey? I mean, we, we still have some work to do with the capital refresh next year to really to really close it out. I'm interested to see what the impact study will show as this is in an absolutely significant kind of milestone in Australian science to have this system available in 2023. Um, Aditi, I should have mentioned one of my highlights this year was Satonix, the, the supernova. You know, in phase one, we did that stress testing of the system and produced this amazing image that's not of a chorizo. It is of a remnant supernova nova using the the ASCAF antenna and you know high performance compute to, uh, to produce this amazing image. And one of the best you know, science comms um, outputs of the year that we're super proud to support with our colleagues here, working with colleagues at CSIRO. Um, but it also, I think, illustrates the, you know, the tremendous um, opportunity we have ahead. And we'll find that we've been planning for this for a number of years through our PACER program. So working with scientists across a range of different major projects to help them scale up and prepare their science to, to meet the, um, the capability of our new system we'll have more capacity next year. So we're looking to bring on more domains and support more, more scientists across the country. And it really is a significant milestone to have this uplift in national research capacity through, through Satonix and the capital refresh. So look out, I'm sure it'll be in the, in the, uh, in the news in the next few days, the, the announcements of all of the, the, the projects and allocations, they are operating at a scale that hasn't been possible before and, and realized through this fantastic uh, infrastructure. Um, it's really important that that infrastructure is sustainable. So the fact that we were ranked so highly in energy efficiency is something that we are incredibly proud of. And we continue to work hard with our researchers to optimise their code. Um, we honestly believe uh, we're you know, vital national infrastructure with supporting expertise that uh, that serves a range of dis different disciplines. And I'm, I'm, I'm becoming fond of saying that we you know, we clearly support key domains such as radio astronomy and, uh, and, and we're pioneering in new fields such as quantum, but we work at all scales you know, from ast astronomical scales, planetary scales. So some of our biggest new projects will be in areas to do with, with climate, uh, which is a fundamentally you know, global challenge for us, fundamentally important. We're doing regional studies um, right down to human, right down to subatomic sort of studies. There's no limit, I think, other than the, you know, the aspiration and ambition of our scientists and researchers when they're using infrastructure like we have at Pawsey. And, uh, and I think when we match that with the enthusiasm of our colleagues, um, it's a really powerful thing. So I've, I might, it might've been the year of the supernova this year, but I think next year it's the, the year of the super quokka and Satonix. So. We need a new T-shirt. I know you've I know you've got your your, your nerd immunity T-shirt on, and yes. uh, we'll think the super cocker. Yes, well done. <laughs> Speaking of super cockers, we have um, Satonix has a cousin in Finland, the Queen of the North, the Wolf. We've been working closely with um, other supercomputing centers and learning from them, and learning from them as well. What what has that collaboration been like, and and what have we learned? Well, I'll acknowledge it and say thank you to our partners and collaborators around around the world, and um, particularly our friends at, at Lumi and uh, and at some other um, key sites around the world. Um, but I, I think um, when I when I work with um, other centres and realise that um, we we are all facing similar challenges and that we do you know we do grow as a community by working well together, I, I see it at a very at a very positive 
positive light. But I know, Stacey, I'll throw it to you. I, I, you've seen it resolve things and anticipate and deal with things in, in kind of real time because of the, the benefits of the collaboration. Well, look, absolutely. Um, working with Lumi in particular and having access to their resources means our services team have been able to test code and um, run things at Lumi before Cytonix was actually up and running. Um, and we're still doing that as with respect to the GPU um, part of Cytonix. And that means that our team are ready to go. They're ready to support researchers um, when researchers gain access to that infrastructure on Cytonix. Awesome. And it's like what we've been talking about, I think, throughout this episode is we have these two facets. One is the supercomputers and the powerful hardware and infrastructure we're putting on the floor. But surrounding that and is, is our people. It, it keeps coming back to the people and the awesome collaborations that we have and just the, the wealth of knowledge that we have in at Pawsey and around the world. So shout out to everyone that's been in, involved in all of those touch points and thank you. Well, I know, I know you're going to wrap us up in a minute, Aditi, but I might just give a, a shout out to you for steering us through these podcast pro process. Um, we've, uh, we've done it over a, a few years now, and I, th I think it'll probably change gears next year as we move into um, the fulfillment and, 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 and delivery of, of Satonix and all of the supporting infrastructure services that we can, uh, we can deliver. So I suspect we'll, we might only do this once or twice next year and perhaps look at the impact study, which we've commissioned, which Stacey mentioned earlier. And it might be nice to do a, a, a wrap up, year, you know, project in review type of exercise. But I wanted to put on the record, unless you cut this out, um, thanks for you for steering us through this um, process because it has been uh, over a number of years and, uh, and you've pulled together some really cool interviews and, uh, and uh, support for us uh, as a project. And we hope through our community, um, they've, uh, they've enjoyed these updates and uh, have benefited as much as we have enjoyed um, supporting them. Thanks, Mark. So, yeah, I appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been my way of being involved in, in the project primarily, doing uh, working on the communications around it and learning about all of this cool stuff and talking to cool people around the world, which has been great. Um, so yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it too. It will look a little bit different next year and hopefully we'll talk a lot more to the researchers that are actually using Cytonix and seeing some of their uh, scientific stories. Fantastic. Cool. So Stacey and Mark, thank you once again for joining this podcast where we cover various aspects of Pawsey's capital refresh and the milestones as well. Um, for those of you who have stayed tuned uh, over the past couple of seasons, thank you for listening. And as always, there is a survey that's linked uh, in the description of this podcast where you can talk to me and tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, or anything that you'd like to hear in future episodes as well. So until the next one, I wish you the very best. Um, safe holidays if you're taking them and have a wonderful new year. Thank you. Thanks, Aditi. Thanks, Aditi.